What's up there Facebook? Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the Daily Live. Hope you're all doing well. Normally coffee, uh, today we're going to be digging into some water because uh, I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold. And no, it's not COVID. <clears throat> <laughs> so today what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about this, what you've got to do to be successful on social media, what you've got to do to be successful on social media to be able to grow your business. When it comes to lead generation, when it comes to be able to speak to more people, when it comes to be able to physically grow your business using social media, what you need to do to be successful. So part of what it takes there's some elements, there's two elements. So there's an element that you must have around the ability of to, to think differently. And then there's the ability of the tactical side of things that you've got to have and to implement and to do when you're looking to grow your business using social media. So the element that you must have uh, from a mindset perspective is you must have five main qualities, five main qualities you must have to be successful from the mind side. And then there's, you need to have the ability to be able to do three main things uh, from the other aspect as well, to be able to grow, to be able to take things to the next level, right? So uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today. As you guys are tuning in, I want you guys to share the stream out so more people can hear this information as well, because I mean, every single day we're live on Facebook giving you guys free content, free ways to be able to grow your business, to help you move forward over 30 hours worth of content now. It's insane the amount of content we've got on this page. Huge amounts for all of you to be able to assist and move forward. So uh, we're talking two aspects. So there's one aspect to be able to grow your business, be successful on social media, which is a, the mind side. And then the other side is more the tactical. So let's talk the five main things from the mind perspective that you can use. So number one, you, you've got to have some ambition. It's not something you're just going to fly by overnight and do and, and then just move out of it and not do anything ever again, right? And, you know, just choose to just do the same thing over and over again, expect a different result, never get it, right? You gotta have some sort of ambition and it's not just talk. Too many people talk, they don't do, right? So uh, it's going to be cold, right? And I'm like got no emotion involved in this at all today, right? Because you got there's there's two people, the people that have the like people that have ambition, it's about, you know, you are ambitious, you are you're the type of person that wants to do. There's two people that of this. There's the talkers and then there's the doers, right? So you want to be the doers, right? The doers with ambition. Second thing is you've got to have the courage to, uh, to back yourself. You've got to have the courage to back yourself. That no matter what is thrown your way challenges wise, that you've got the courage to be able to get up and to do it. And to do what other people aren't doing. To be able to do the work. To be able to spend almost two months every day, every single day, including weekends live, like we are, to be able to help add value to a community and help start building a community. So it's number one, you gotta have the ambition. You're not a talker, you gotta be a doer. Number two is you gotta have the courage to be able to back yourself and do the work that's required in order to be successful. Uh, number three is you gotta have you gotta have an optimistic approach, right? You can't you can't just sit there and go, oh, this doesn't work for me, or this isn't right, or this, you know, uh, I couldn't do that, or I can't do that, or whatever the excuses are that are going through one's mind. You gotta be optimistic about things. You gotta look at things with a fresh set of eyes. You know, if I was to do this, how would I do it, right? You gotta have an optimistic approach when it comes to social media, right? So we're talking the mind side, and then we talk the tactical stuff and the ability that you must do through social media in order to be successful, because that's what we're talking about today. So not only are you ambitious, right? So that's not ambitious in terms of you're a talker, right? You talk about being ambitious. You talk about all the great things you're going to do. You talk about how you're going to be successful, right? It's not the talk, it's the do, right? The do far outweighs the talk. So being ambitious 
is the first thing. The courage, having courage to back yourself, being optimistic, optimistic with your approach, optimistic with the way that you currently do things. Number three, you gotta have, number four, sorry, you gotta have the willpower, right? You gotta have the willpower to stick it through. You can get taken off on tangents, you can do other things, all these fantastic, great, super cool, a massively amazing things that you can do, but if you haven't got the willpower to stick out at a long time, the courage to start, and the courage to, to, to continue doing it, the optimi optimistic side to be able to, to be you know optimistic about how you can do things, and yes, if this could be done, then what would I do? How would I do this? But also the willpower to keep going, and also the continuous drive, which is number five. So that's the five main things. You gotta have the drive to be able to continue to drive yourself every single day, right? Building a business is not an easy thing. It's a game, it's a numbers thing, right? It's, a, it's predictable, it should be predictable. If it's not predictable for you now, there is something not quite right that's gotta be sorted and it's gotta be fixed as soon as possible. So it's about having the drive to continue every day, regardless of what's being thrown at you. Like, yes, you're gonna get sick. Yes, you're gonna have kids run into the house if you've got kids. Yes, you're gonna have all of these other things that get thrown at you that, that everybody has in their life, right? Yes, you're gonna have people not show for your appointments. Yes, you're gonna have people not show to your webinars. Yes, you're gonna have people that, you know, don't answer their phone, right? You gotta have the grit and the drive to keep going, to continue every single day to be successful. Simple as that. You gotta have the drive. You gotta have these five main things. There's many other things I could go through Due to the time frame that I have to talk to you guys today, I want it to be succinct. So you must have these five things. These, this is the mind side to it. The other aspect is the, the tactical, right? The overarching strategy is simple. The tactical is how do you, you gotta, you gotta do this. You gotta do, take people from cold to never knowing who you are, to warm to hot, right? It's done through, three different ways. It's done through, to take someone from cold to a warm lead to a hot lead is done three different ways. You must have an overarching strategy and content plan organically, right? So you must be using organic strategies to have conversations with people organically like we do with the show every single day, right? So that's the organic, you must have an overarching Organic strategy. You must also have a paid strategy. So paid marketing that continues to hit audiences every single day and continues to have new contacts with new people. It prospects for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You must have a paid strategy, right? Not only do you have a paid strategy, but the third one is you must have a retargeting strategy. And it's not always retargeting on the same platform. So if you do a lot with Facebook, for example, you can retarget across to Instagram and Instagram stories, outside or websites, things like that. If you've got other pixels for other marketing platforms on your pages, you can then re continue to retarget on other channels, right? So using the third party Facebook app as well, like uh, using uh, audience insight, like the, uh, the custom audiences and things like that, right? And using it where Facebook retargets like third party websites, things like that. So you must be using these types of retargeting strategies as well uh, in order to continue to be in front of people and continue for people to, to see you every single day and want to do business with you. So uh, you must have the five sort of elements uh, are based around the mind and more the, more the sort of habits that you must have. And then there's the other side, which you must have the ability to be able to turn cold to warm to hot leads through your process. And that's done through organic marketing, paid marketing with new audiences every day, and then retargeting older audiences as well to continue to be in front of people and continue to be in 
uh, in people's minds at all times. And this is the reason why all of you that watch these videos now actually see us everywhere because this is all part of the battle plan marketing method, right? It's how you go about turning cold to warm to hot, people to know you, you start getting looked at as an industry professional, an expert, someone that knows what they're talking about in a specific subject. So it's not that I'm sitting here talking to you guys as well saying this is what you should do, I'm physically doing it, right? We're physically doing it every single day for us and for our clients as well. So don't do what I say, just do exactly what we're doing. If you don't, if you want hand, want a hand doing what you're doing, uh, what we're doing, you reach out to us and you do it. It's like the, the whole strategy, right? We, we actually talk about this a lot more at our up and coming war room event as well, where we talk around, you know, organic paid and retargeting strategies to be able to grow your business and turn leads from hot to warm to cold. There's a specific process around that. When the lead is generated, what's the process that you use to continue to warm these people up, continue to get to know you and continue to add value moving forward. All of it's spoken about at the war room. We set all this up for you in the war room, right? So these, these are the aspects that you must have in order to grow your business to be more successful with your online marketing as well is you've, you've got to have the ability to go from cold to warm to hot within your marketing and you've got to be able to have continuous conversations and we set all of it up for you at the war room, right? So you just, you set it all up live in the room with us and it's all running for you. Like it's all running, done, dusted, all your marketing, your sales processes, your sales strategies, your sales systems, all done live in the room, right? Um, and, and you have all of everything that you're seeing from us all the time uh, done live in the room for you. So uh, if you want some information about the War Room event, what I want you guys to do is to comment below uh, War Room and we'll reach out to you with the details for that. Uh, it's on the 5th, 6th and 7th of June and we're going to be running another one shortly after that as well. So there's a couple of dates available we just book you in for a date that you would like to come. So uh, that's it for today, guys. So the main thing is, if you wanna be successful with your online marketing and growing your business online, here's the steps, the things that you must be doing today. So what I would say is this. If you don't fight for your own freedom, nobody else will. Absolutely nobody else will. So get out there, take action, make it happen, implement what it is that we've spoken about today, and I'll see you all tomorrow live, Perth, Western Australia time, 12 o'clock. Speak to you then.